Martin for the Metal Gods Meltdown. And today I am joined by Never Be Again. I'm Alex and I'm Carol. <laughs> nice to meet you all. <laughs> I love your album. I've only had it like a week or so, and it's fantastic. How excited are you then about getting it released? Uh, yeah, I mean, we are super excited. Uh, this this new album, Trust, it's uh, definitely going to mark um, a big step up for us because in comparison to the previous one, we actually had really had the time to process, think about what we wanted to write and what, what we wanted to, to just um, uh, share with the world as a, as a music genre, as a message and everything else, rather than being rushing into the studio like we did with the first album because it was very much on the run. So we are very excited because it's been completed since a while. We just needed to have the release date from the label. And there we go. So October 18th, everything is going to be available for everybody. I just hope you're enjoying the first single so far. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit about the first single and video and the ideas behind that one? Uh, yeah, I mean, first of all, uh, we just like to share the word with the word the fact that everything you see and hear, it's completely uh, self, yeah, self-produced. We are a hundred percent DIY band. Uh, everything you see on the web, whether it's a video clip, it's been uh, personally I take care of the video clips, so I record it and edit it. Uh, Alex, the other guitar player, we we both are called. Me, I am Ale, the other guitar player is Alex, and we are the two geeks, so he takes care of the recording things. In terms of audio, I take care of the video. And yeah, I mean, with this video clip, we decided to, yeah, maybe just uh, to take a, a different approach rather than the usual like playback, playback with the whole band. We just wanted to have a, a bigger narrative, maybe to tell a bit of a story. And yeah, it's uh, basically, it's it's... It's mainly about uh, social pressure. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, yeah. Expect now it's like expectation from people we love. You know, we feel a, a lot of pressed by you know all the um, schedule and uh, expiry date like of everything. And this society is like is uh, is so overwhelming. So this kind of video is for the people like us that feel the heaviness of this new world let's say <laughs> yeah we're about we, we are in our 30s pretty much every one of us and so this is kind of a turning point in our lives where we do have this kind of pressure to get things done within a certain time within a certain age and as musicians because that's what we do it's not a side job this is our full-time full job uh not yet with this band because we'd like this to be our full-time job but not yeah. yet because we we can't make a living out of it at the moment but yeah we do our pro professional musicians all of us so uh -huh. yeah all this kind of pressure uh, we wanted to to try to um, manifest it to give a visual idea of this kind of pressure starting from the very early age with the little uh, with the little kid and with the little baby and uh, and then Paris. Yeah, with our we involved our parents in the video clip actually. So. All right. So was that one of your children as well then? No, no, this is the. Ch <laughs> no, is is the is the is the is the daughter of uh, some friends of us that they have been kind enough to borrow the daughter right. to. So you guys are on the editorial playlist on spotify i saw like you posted that up on your facebook and it's a big deal for you guys yeah absolutely you know it's yeah. like when i get my interviews featured on blabbermouth i mean i'm a small little site and when he gets up like that it, it's good isn't it it means something yeah yeah <laughs> yeah 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 no it's absolutely exciting because we have never been in editorial like uh and I think it's a good, like, it's a good sign, maybe but, um, from the word to be in an editorial playlist yeah. for once. Let's say we're pushing as hard as we can, honestly. So, yeah, it's a big achievement for someone is nothing. But for us, that since we are pretty unknown in the scene and we are an underground band, yeah, I think. Sorry. May, 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 we just need to remember to pass each other the microphone. Yeah, we just into the air yeah i mean mainly at least it's a good sign that we are on the right track because 90 percent of the time you just uh put your music out there and you don't know if you are on the right track especially because i mean it's like when you send emails to managers or venues or whoever you want to try to get at least a feedback mm -hmm. and when you have completely silence from the other side it just gets into your head because uh, yeah. 
we'd rather we'd rather prefer to to hear guys you suck and you're disgusting and i hate you and it's fine for me yeah. because at least i have a feedback and i know that i need to yeah. work on something else uh, but uh, just the fact that an editorial curator knows our name now mm. so we are we're on the map and that's Absolutely. an achievement so i don't care if it's a weekly or a monthly or a forever playlist to be over there even if it's just for a couple of days i achieved the, uh, that somebody acknowledged our presence and this is yeah and this is great yeah i understand that absolutely i really do um okay so what about the band name then because that's a bit different and it does make you sort of like wanna what's that mean so why what have you, so do you not obey again. anymore the story behind never be again so let's say that we are also a couple we have been played together since nine years and we have a duo we travel the world and we do covers most of the time and so we had so many bad experience in this kind of cover world because we are a couple so you know also in italy uh, they won't like to play with us like okay you're a musician you're a couple so we can get some romance from it and uh, yeah, so when we ended up to have this new band, Never Be Again, me and Ale looked at each other and we say, okay, we are absolutely tired enough with this stuff. We, really, we, we are 30 now, so we really need to do something that we really want and we really like. Yeah. And so we decided to put this, uh, this uh, new project on the table and we say, okay, let's look in for a... Uh, a guitar play another guitar player we already had the drummer and the bus player because we have a cover band so a party band mm -hmm. and we are the same members right. uh but then it's never a be again because we wanted to write we wanted to just to play stuff that we love with no limits with no barriers just everybody asks to us like which which genre you are doing guys honestly i don't know we just put on music what we like and and that's yeah. it we love heavy stuff, but I think that some tracks sounds more heavy rock. Some some tracks are more metal. I don't know. It's just what we have in mind. So never be again. <laughs> like this is this is why. <laughs> well, that brings me to the next question. Like, with give me a fucking break. That's amazing and great for listening on my daily commute to work. Honestly, yeah. Getting on because I haven't got a car anymore. I have to go on public transport. It's not fun. I listen to that quite a lot. Um, I think that should be the next single, yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, it's not... Let, let's say that there's a... We have scheduled like three singles released before the album and then there is a, there's going to be a fourth one. And um, I mean, we, we really had to dig deep to try to understand which was the, the best choice. Yeah. And we ended up discarding that one for... Um, for uh, because it, 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 it's very how to say it's very nice and triggering in terms of the riff and the lyrics mm. but probably is not the one that represent us the most maybe it's a, it's gonna be a good one for social media contents it's gonna yeah. be a massive one for the live shows but probably yeah, it's not it. the one that represents the album the most but one day we were recording a, a video clip i mean this is something i'm spoiling to you because not even the label knows we just said Okay, we decided, we opted for other four songs. One, it's Never Feel, Never Fear, of course. And those are, and then there are other three songs we yeah. recorded a video clip for. But then we just said, one day we said, fuck it, let's record a video clip also of this one. So right. the label doesn't know, not, <laughs> nobody else knows that thing. But yeah, we did record the video clip also for this one. And we're going to release it probably randomly throughout the year after the album has been released just as a bonus thing to share with our with our i mean friends and fans i don't even know yeah. if i can call people fans but yeah people, uh, supporters people. let's say <laughs> a sort of song that would go viral yeah get it on tiktok or something like that no yeah but... that's right so that's the point we we understand the power of the potential virality of this mm. uh, concept give me a yeah. fucking break and a, and a super heavy riff that starts after that uh and and probably we just need to target that single part of the song just to get yeah. straight to them and That's because it. it's very reasonable so it <laughs> resonates with so many people but oh, yeah. let's let's see let's see what the absolutely. future brings absolutely okay so i really love the cover as well that's very artistic um tell me that's not ai <laughs> it's it's uh 50 50 
Okay. So basically, we started out with a with a drawing we did, and mm -hmm. um, because we really wanted to transmit this kind of a, a kind of a being stuck uh, anxiety kind of uh, feeling and atmosphere, and then also the this ethereal type of uh, of uh, of visual. Uh, is a famous, yeah, the inspiration like, is a so famous piece of art where you have a face behind a. Uh, a canva and the face is pushing is uh, the, the the face shape through the canvas and right. uh, and, and the then, screen. it's not the screen now yeah. uh, it's not the screen i don't remember the name but we uh, started out from that thing we redraw the thing by ends and then we fed this thing to an ai just to make it pop because of course we have no uh, skill uh, to to, right. to to make it as as good as we want and then we're always in uh, in saving mode as you as i saw as i told you we are a diy band so every single pound that we can save uh, it gets involved into uh a ads or any type of thing that can spread the word at least in this moment of our our career the main goal is to enlarge uh, the sense the, the community and the people around the project and get our music heard as much as possible so we cannot waste any pound yeah let's say that we are not really fan about ai like just uh, all the computer stuff but since also ale told you that we are a diy band so we don't have so much money mm -hmm. and when you tell someone to to do the work for you it's not easy to find someone that is able to transmit what you have in mind you know yeah. so and if you pay just a little it's not easy to find the best artist. So I think that this 50-50 is like it's need is needed and at the moment. Yeah. That's yeah. why. Like I mean the cool the, the cool part of uh, of AI, I, I do understand that it just kills creativity constantly. So most of people that get their own thing out of AI, they're just trying to, to write random shit on chat GPT or the, the, what was the mid journey or stuff like this. But uh the cool part uh came out when actually you could feed these machines with a, a previous idea that you already have. And it's just a way to enhance it. But I do think that probably the future is going to be like this for a while because yeah. it, it just takes your uh, your idea and it brings it to the next level. And I will never use it for music, but I will use it as a, as a tool to achieve bigger results than I will be able uh, to achieve by myself. But I understand that it's something that if it wasn't from, if it didn't, if it didn't, if it wasn't born from an, a personal idea, it will be just like cheating. So at yeah. the end of the day, that's the, the cool part is just implementing AI to some idea that you actually have. Okay. What about album release day then? Do you plan to have like an album release party? And if you do, do you plan to do that online? That'd be cool. Yeah, so we're surely gonna have a release party in our close to our hometown because we're close to Milano in Milan, yeah. and so we're gonna have the release party on the twenty fifth of October. Uh, actually, we found uh, available one of the very iconic uh, club that we have in Milano, which is called the Rock and Roll Club. It's okay. a very cool underground um, music uh, club. And and it's kind of a, a CBGB of of Milan, if I can tell. So it's a, right. it's a very nice one. Yeah. It's it's like the underground in uh, the underworld in London, something like this. Yeah. So <laughs> and but, yeah. but but very tight. And yeah. we like it because the smaller the the, the 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 easier to 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 fill it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and then maybe we're gonna have also um. Probably we're going to discuss about this thing because usually our label uh, organize uh, cool things like a pre-listening party. Mm -hmm. uh, so like the, the night before the the, the, the album gets out, um, you can listen it to this pre-listening party, buy yeah. the album, buy the merch. And maybe we're going to perform some some acoustic var uh, variation of, of the songs just to spoil a little bit. A live, a live stream, maybe. Yeah, yeah. We, maybe we can do a live stream. It will be That'd amazing. Be cool. That'd be yeah, really yeah. cool. Okay. Uh -huh. Being in Milan, then, I mean, does Italy have a pretty good metal rock scene or is it quite hard to get noticed? Terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, it's, um, it, this is one of the things we are, we are super sad about. We, it, we, it's so easy to get contacts and get respect outside of Italy. And I know that grass is always greener. If you talk to anybody from any part mm -hmm. of the world, they just complain about their local scene. But, this this time is true. I mean, in Italy, in Italy, it, for example, after the release party, 
it has been super easy to organize like a five days tour, like a five gigs tour that goes from Netherlands to Belgium to to Swiss to to Germany. Super easy because you just write a couple of emails, yeah. you just send people to your pages, they check the numbers, mm -hmm. they see that it's it's legit. So we actually yeah. can bring some something to the table, and so they give you the opportunity. In Italy, it's just more of a close-minded scenario, so. We were able, literally, even through uh, booking agencies and stuff, we were literally able just to find this single gig that we had to book nine months in advance right. just to get the spot. By the way, renting the club. So yeah. we have to pay a massive amount of money in advance. Uh, yeah. And That's hoping for the best. Insane. Yes. It is. It is. <laughs> but I... what to do? <laughs> I know, I know. So I, I go into Belgium and, and Holland and all of that because Belgium's got a fantastic scene over there. Is that the plan, yeah? Yeah. Where, sorry. Belgium is a fantastic scene. Uh, Belgium, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were so nice with us, honestly. We went there last last year and... Uh, not last... Ah, it was this year, I'm sorry. In April, right. Right. <laughs> we have been there. And then the owners of the previous like uh, pubs and clubs, they told us, come back for your new album. You're very welcome. And they gave us new dates. And it's just amazing. It's it's crazy that in Italy you can have the same the same thing. But if you think about, for example, Lacuna Coil, I think they are the band, the most well-known band in Italy in the metal scene. Mm -hmm. Abroad, they are big and in Italy... They don't play. I think they've never played, for example, in a forum like or in a. And it's crazy because in Italy you have to get famous outside Italy and then right. they call you back. Crazy. But nobody help you, especially if you are outside a niche, a mm -hmm. precise niche. We are not the one that just going back to people, just chasing for attention. It's okay. We are here. We give you what we can. If you yeah. want to help us out, it's okay. If not. All right. That's how the internet helps, though, isn't it? I guess that's how you discover bands and that these days. So it makes a difference. It really does. I mean, I got your album through Scarlet Records, and it was like, oh, yeah. I've got to get an interview with you guys. I mean, they're very good. Um, they're Italian based as well, though, aren't they? Scarlet Records. What, what? Sorry, I, I the connection went away. I lost the last uh, part of the question. Sorry. Scarlet Records are Italian based, though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they are Italian based. They are in Melegnano, which is close to. To Milan, so it's uh, it has been pretty pretty easy for us to to build a bond with them. Right. Okay. So a bit more fun questions now. Then, if you could only listen to two albums for a year, which would you choose? Okay, I'll counter with a side question. Yeah, uh, just metal albums or in general? In general, yeah. Oh, Don't oh. say Taylor Swift. Please. No. So, <laughs> um, I would pick two extremes. So I will go for probably the live in Los Angeles, the Nokia uh, at the Nokia Theater from from John Mayer, John Mayer, and one side, and uh, I will go for uh, I will go for uh, Sempiternal by Bring Me the Horizon. Yeah. <laughs> Those two. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah, no, same for me. Sam Peter not Bring Me the Horizon, I think, is the, the band I love the most. And then there is an album that I'm so close with is uh, Meteora from the Linkin Park. So, okay. Yeah, that's yeah I, I grew album. up with it. So, it's, it was such a fantastic album. For me, I was like, I think just 12. When I mm -hmm. listened the first time to Meteora, it was like, wow. <laughs> 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 was like, yeah, these two, I think. I think. <laughs> Okay, so what about going back? Well, what about you? What about I'm, you? I'm just saying you're going to ask that, right? So I'm looking at all my albums here. <laughs> I've got loads of CDs. Probably, yeah, Linkin Park, Matora, and probably... <laughs> That's an hard one, isn't it? <laughs> I'm cheating, I'm cheating. Hang on. Uh, um, I'm sure of Roots. Probably okay. <laughs> a bit different, yeah. Probably, yeah, yeah. Or I don't know. Actually, there's so many. Um, I keep being drawn to um. No, oh, not that. Why do I keep getting drawn to meatloaf? I haven't got a meatloaf CD, really. I've not. No, no, no. I didn't say that. <laughs> it, it's, 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 it's a difficult one it just depends because it, to me, it's also affected by the mood of the moment it because 90% of the time you really maybe you ended up in your car listening to 
country music and you're joining because you're driving all the way up I, I, now now that i just said about that probably also uh, Manford and Sons it will yeah. be something that I will at least be listening like 100 times in a day Blink 182 like I, I grew yeah. up with Blink 182 exactly. and I'm yeah, of course exactly. your album yeah I do for uh, a year yeah. you have to send, check in the post all right yeah <laughs> all right. okay yeah. Too, so man, too many stuff do you remember the first time you guys as a couple stood on a stage and how it felt oh uh, yeah uh so we, it's it's kind of a long story because uh, we we've been together as a couple nine. since nine years and we've we were playing together since nine years mainly and we we started telling like we will never play together let's make it clear six months later we were doing it is as a as a main job so a video. yeah so that, that's the thing so the very first time we we went on stage together we weren't a couple or nothing it was like a a, a thing called she gem. And it's uh, it's basically a jam session when where every singer can go on stage, a lady singer can go on stage, and 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 call a musician friend to to join the stage with her. So we went on stage and we played a couple of songs together. And <laughs> she called me, and, and and yeah, and then later on, once we started dating, we just one day we were literally drunk, and we just played uh, I I do love Loop Station, and so we played the uh, uh, guitar and Loop Station and voice cover of i don't remember which song yeah it was uptown funk by bruno mars probably something like this nice. completely wasted in, in our in our in our in our older uh single bed apartment yeah right. and and uh and that thing we posted it on social media and um it was back in the days when you didn't have to pay like tons of money to get mm -hmm. visibility if, if, if something yeah. was good was good and yeah, it went kind of viral. And uh, the next day, we we woke up to like seventy thousand views in wow. less than than ten hours. And it skyrocketed. It went to the million, probably something like this. Local place. Yeah, and all, all all the local uh, the local um, let's say restaurants, pubs, uh, and venues uh, started contacting us for uh, what's happening with the time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> started awesome. contacting us uh, for uh, for having gigs and stuff. And so we we understood that. We were just uh, one step uh, farther from make it as a as a as a main source of income because then mm -hmm. came the corporate events, the weddings, yeah. and all these things. And actually, it was something that was completely not planned. Right. But it's also what led to what led to to never be again because when we get when you get so fed of playing just in this kind of uh, very suit up and elegant uh, environments then you really need to have something to let the stress go and, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah back to the question we don't know which was the first stage because it was not impressive right. <laughs> we, we know the process like <laughs> we yeah. remember <laughs> yeah i just remember that very first gem yeah, that's it. two songs together in a local pub that's it Okay, that's real. Okay, so as you are a couple, then if there is a made up, totally made up heavy metal song about yourself, selves, what would it be called? Uh... Give me a fucking break. <laughs> uh, yeah. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Brilliant answer. <laughs> I, I will say Five Minutes Alone by Pantera. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Mouth for war. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right, then. So the next one is, can you give me then four words to describe your new album, Truth? Four words, two each. Four words. One each. Okay, one each. No, two each. That's two no, each. Let's, let's, no, I mean, yeah. So the first two. You go for the first two. It's deeper. It's heavier. To me, it's... Uh, oh god it's i would say it's real and it's uncontaminated oh, i like that yeah that's cool i like that yeah okay so that's five questions so it's evil or either so the first one is do you prefer festivals or small intimate gigs oh fuck uh so it just depends when you ask me this question so yeah. uh at this moment of our career I would say small clubs and probably I would forever say small clubs mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, you just picture yourself always in, into these big arenas and stuff. 
but I'm pretty sure I will miss the old days when you can literally touch people uh-huh. in front of you because uh, we are very uh, tired to 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 the to, to whoever supports us to me it's a loop of energy and so this is so real but i do understand that this project it's it it's more neat towards that that big festivals and big scene because i mean it's not an hardcore or a straight metal project where you just play out of the amps and you blast your amplifier very loud and blah blah, blah. i mean at the moment you have situations where like we're all having near monitors we have sequences and we have a very well prepared show with all mm-hmm. the sequences that uh, f- fills the space in between songs and stuff so it's it's more of a it's more of a, a show and uh than, than just a, a straight raw performance which i still love so mm-hmm. yeah and th- 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 i think that uh, this thing sums it up pretty 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 good okay that's brilliant Pasta or pizza? Oh, pizza. pizza. Pizza all the way. <laughs> every day, every night. <laughs> if I could, because they are carbs. I mean, I, I, I do I do love pasta, probably way more than pizza, but pasta has too many variables. Yeah. At the end of the day, if you want to go straight to the point, you have pizza yeah. and you're, you're going to be happy. Absolutely. Can agree more. All right. And so what about pineapple and pizza? Do you agree with that? Can we cut the interview now? <laughs> <laughs> Never in my life. Okay. Said, but I'm sorry, I cannot think about pineapple. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I cannot put like it's it's it's. I the remember sacrilege. the meme. Yeah, I, I remember the meme of of this guy, this Italian guy in a cooking uh, show on the television where they say they were cooking like the English carbonara and they were putting like mushrooms and heavy cream and they say yeah if you if you put uh, ham it's close to English carbonara and this guy this cook the Italian cook says yeah if I if my grandma had wheels then she would be a bicycle <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> this is true right <laughs> okay so the next one then do you prefer vinyl or digital so uh, it's if we prefer vinyl or digital. So for sure, vinyl or uh, the, uh, let's say that even if maybe we are not into vinyls just because we don't have a big collection. We do have a collection, but we don't have a, a vinyl reader anymore. But uh, yeah, uh, we are still, and I think I can speak for the both of us, we are very uh, still attached to the physical support mm-hmm. because at the end of the day, it's something, it's an object that you yeah. have to possess. And it's, it's, it's like... Um, it's something that you really feel that you there is something physical you're attached to, and then you can read the lyrics and things. And I mean, we belong to that era at least. Yeah. I still have CD reader on my car. Yeah, that's I cool. I still have my CDs, and you know the the, the yeah. first with all the. So I wish I could show you the the other side of the room because actually this is the small studio where we record stuff, yeah. and uh, I have all uh, all the, um, uh, the the covers of the CDs that. I released as a single artist or with other bands and we'd never be again um, uh, framed on the wall. So just to let you understand how much we care about these things. So at least this is the product uh, that I did and I want to have it in my hand rather than on my telephone. So yeah. Don't agree more. That's brilliant. Um, uh, All right. And so do you prefer Peroni or wine? (laughs) Peroni or wine? It depends. I think I love beer, but if you can give me a like a sparkling white wine, the one I like, like Metodo Classico, I can finish the bottle by myself. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I mean, I, I'm 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 all up for Guinness, so ninety percent of the time, yeah, and I and I, I just had like I, my 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 body is seventy percent made of Guinness probably, but yeah, and uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. wine wise, uh, uh, for probably I mean we have been spoiled since the young age because it, one of the small us one of the only assets about being italian is food and and, and wine so and and red, red wine over here it's probably in, it's impossible to compare it with anything else in the rest of the world so red wine in winter over here wins over everything else and of course it's like august now so is everything being closed down is that the normal for where you live as well or is that just like the whole of italy yeah yeah, yeah i mean more or less most of the shops but it's 
don't get me wrong it's not like ramadan in abu dhabi uh, it's <laughs> it's uh it's, it's just they take like one week across the the midpoint of uh, of august like the 15th of august and they close close around across that week mm. but nothing that special I mean pubs are open at night and restaurants yeah. and stuff but mainly are just uh, um i mean markets and stuff like this shops that are uh, closed yep All right All right, and the final one then. Are you guys saints or sinners? Hmm. It depends from the situation. Oh, uh, we play we, we 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 play the sinners, but we're 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 I mean all metal heads. We're losers. I mean we're losers, yeah. We play very yeah, but then we are <laughs> so all metal heads, right? At the end of the day, genuinely. All metal heads are losers. Uh, and no losers because we are like losers because we are like this. It's just we are very, very good hearted. It's a niche. Yeah. 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 Emotional. We just, uh, I got emotional for everything. Also on stage sometimes when people are very nice to me. I, I crying like, oh. Thank you. It's it's really uh, it's really a uh, uh, wherever you're going to the world, there is this huge power that uh, you can possess just wearing a t-shirt of a metal band. Yeah, uh, that just def defines you as part of. Uh... Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, this is what she yeah, does. Well, we also have a black one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but I mean, it just it just takes you to 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 walk a street with a Metallica t-shirt and you. And people just acknowledge your presence, and it's great. So, this is the I black one. <laughs> it's your Italian sister. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, beautiful. It's so fat. It's fat. <laughs> oh, she's been a bit vicious today, haven't you? I had to flee her earlier, and she's like, "That's <laughs> 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 you." <laughs> but she likes to make an appearance and she's back but it's, it's, it's super young right she's a puppy she's now. two and a half now. oh wow I thought she was like uh, six months and, and, and here's the other one look I saw the grey one <laughs> oh that's amazing <laughs> you know um, I job for a cowboy yeah yeah he jumped for I a cowboy I had a long interview wow well, long interview with him and he was showing me his cats as well That's amazing. Girlfriend, when I first got the out with her, she didn't like cats, right? Actually, I was a and I've got two. It's just Tabitha, and I've got Dio. Abby James Dio, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but I, so, I mean, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't like to be your back in this moment. That's It what I was going to say. My scratched. girlfriend was like, where's all those scratches coming from? <laughs> this. This thing. Yeah. It's not bondage, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah, but like what you're saying about metal music and everything, I mean, I'm in my 50s now and I've been in the metal since I was 11 or 12 and people don't understand it. You know, like my room, it's like a man cave. Yeah. And it's yeah. like people are like, grow up? I'm like, well, no. Yeah. But should I? It's my compassion. You know what I mean? People don't really understand, do they? There's something about the music that just... Yeah, I mean, it's... it's change. I don't know. Probably it's something related that, that, that probably you have also in the UK, because it's not like this in the in the whole world. I mean, of course there is a part of very judgy uh, of yeah. the, the the common behaving is very judgy towards musician in general because it's not yeah. acknowledged or uh, or recognized as a real job probably, yeah. uh, unless you make it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, people don't understand the concept of making it because what do you think that making it is? Is it only to be in television or filling up arenas? Because there are like thousands of different levels and championship that you can compete in and you can make a living out of it. And even if you don't make a living out of it, who gives a fuck if it's your passion? Just exactly. these people, if, if you have your, your, your home and your, uh, your room full of um, photography stuff uh, or uh, drones because you like to fly drones or you like, mm. I don't know, uh cars and you have the, the the small cars nobody will ever judge you it's no it's, with it's music weird. it's more like yeah as you said it oh, grow up come on oh, fuck yeah. off. <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> man do you have any final words for your fans our viewers and listeners listen to our music 
and stream our new single and pre-order our new album Trust out on October 18th. And share it with your friends. We already so happy and very, 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 we love you guys because the support is amazing even if we are pretty new in the scene. So thank you so much for the support and I hope you like our new album. I know that this is your relating but I'm stuck in the middle and no one else will get me out of it. Cause I've been dealing with those voices telling me the right just for every step on my face.